All right, so we're working with stamping up papers today. Um, they have released in their holiday catalog a pack of 48 pages, six by six papers that are beautiful landscape winter scenes. There are 12 different designs and four copies of each for 48 pages. What I've done is cut a certain section out of each page that I like and that I want to work with. We're going to be making some of these type of cards, matchbook style or upside down matchbook. And what I did was take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, cut it lengthways this way in half. So it's four and a quarter by 11. And we're going to cut that down just a little bit based on that. So we're gonna start here by cutting, I think I'm gonna use this one, which is this style on this card. And we're going to cut that paper as close to the top as we possibly can. Now this die, as you can see, has little notches that are at about, well, they're a nice even dimension. I also like to use these grid lines. And we're going to push that up as far as we can to the top. And we're going to kind of center it in there. And use a little bit of washi tape here. Tape that down. And I'm going to step away. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to use the big shot. Okay, so like I said... Little sticky. All right, so now we have this nice, pretty edge along the top of the card. Now we're going to score this paper like this one is scored. We're going to score it at two inches and I want this middle section of the card here to be five inches so two plus five is seven and there we go nice and simple put this way and I like to make sure everything lines up real nice because sometimes when you score it doesn't always work as Nice as you would like it to. There, nice even edge. All right, so now we have the body of the card made. Now we have to put on the paper, which is still pretty easy. We're gonna use this pine cone one. I tried to, and that's gonna go up there, get cut at a curve, and the rest of it's gonna go down here. Now we need about four inches is what's left on this bottom section. So we need that four inches for sure, but we can cut down a little bit more into that section. So what I like to do, this is the easiest way for me to get it correct, is line that up on a straight grid now what we're going to use this time is just a straight die cut so that we can cut that curve the same and we'll flip it around so it's the same as the other one just to make sure so here we are we're going to eyeball that get it as close as we can now remember this has to be upside down because we're putting this part at the top of the card here now, what I do 
just eyeball that just get it right lined up with that edge now this is the tricky part because you're going to hold the paper keep it in line there and then you got to hold one edge of the die cut bring this paper in here to a reasonable point here's your fold right there and you want an eighth inch I cut these down papers at four inches your cards four and a quarter so you get an eighth inch border all the way around we're gonna have extra paper to work with remember this is six inches but we only need the two here a little less than two here because we cut off a section but you don't want to get it too close now I can still kind of see my dot off to the side here it's pretty pretty light but I can see it get my paper square with that line as well so we're an eighth an eighth get this on here and now we just washi tape that down here and I'm gonna cut this okay so we bring this back over here take that off and we're gonna be a little long we did that on purpose Gonna waste a little bit at the top just a little and just a little bit at the bottom so I'm gonna get my pencil now I am going to mark on the fold line and when I go to the cutter I'm gonna take off that quarter inch or, or eighth of an inch excuse me so I got that all lined up right there nice curve and now when I go to put this on here, I got a nice eighth inch border all the way around there. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Get out your snail. As you can see, I don't use Stampin' Up! Snail, but you can use whatever snail you like to use. And we're going to give it that eighth inch border all the way around. Now, then we have the nice little curve in there. All right, so the next step, take your die off of here. is we're going to lose some of that or we're going to lose some of the bottom however you want to do this so we're going to kind of look at it here i kind of like the fact that ooh, i can't cut too much off here okay that looks pretty good right there just like that so we are going to again Mark this paper at the fold, but then we're going to cut it an eighth inch in at the cutter. That way I don't have to worry about erasing pencil marks. Okay, so now we're going to glue that piece on. This is really a fairly simple card. That curve is probably the trickiest part. I'm kind of particular about how I put on my snail. I like it to be close to the edge so that your edges aren't peeling out. And then I grab in the middle. I'm not getting my fingers all sticky. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to be a little long here. Ooh. That being said, kind of messed up a little bit. Because what I'm going to have to do here trim that off and now my sticky isn't there usually I cut this curved side before I put the glue sticky strip on it fortunately it's not coming up too bad so there we are all right now I'm going to add a sentiment to this. I have picked 
this season's greetings from this set that I got at Michael's last year. And I'm going to emboss it in white, which I was a little afraid would not show up, but I think it looks nice on there. It's a little glossy and stands out pretty good. That one happens to be Merry Christmas. But... All right, so get out your verse mark and stamp on there. I don't know why I turned it sideways like that. And I'm going to go put powder on here and hope everything turns out of it. Here's the embossed card. I'm not sure how crazy about it. I am about the stamp. It seems to me like the S on both the greetings and seasons is a little bit too close together because that one kind of filled in a little bit too much too. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. So all that's left now is to embellish. Now, I kind of like just attaching. You got to be a little more careful with your cards. I could have used some double-sided tape, but instead I just decided I would use glue. And I'm just going to embellish with a couple of little snowflakes. Now these snowflakes I have a die for and then I use some Stampin' Up! paper that is kind of glittery. Seems to be a little off-white which I didn't realize but I like it anyway. So there's some embellishments and embossed sentiment and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Here's this card that we just finished doing. A little embossed sentiment and some sparkly snowflakes. There's another card. This is the bottom fold. I added some paper inside so you had a place to write on. It's kind of a dark card. Okay, and here's another pretty picture and some more embellishments and stamped. It's another very beautiful picture. I think this might be my favorite. I'm not sure. They're very pretty. Pretty cards. Pieces of paper. And here's another one. This one's a little... I had a hard time deciding if I was going to go with purple or if I wanted to try to get some of these pink and maybe even red tones, but in the end... There's some blue in here too, so in the end I went with purple. And here's the dark purple. Brown just didn't seem right. I thought these had a little purple color to them. Picking the paper is the hardest part. You can make the cards a little bigger with 12 by 12 paper, but I found that the 8.5 by 11 works just fine. Thank you for watching. Please visit my website at papercraftcorner.com. Thank you for watching.